of Los Angeles. Um, I think the, um, the Orthodox community and the modern Orthodox community I can relate to a little more in Los Angeles, something more authentic about that. Um, but in general, Jewish American culture in, in Jewish American culture is not as exciting for me as the culture that I married into, which is Sephardic. My wife is Sephardic. She was born in Morocco and raised in Paris. Um, and the Sephardim in France have just revitalized Jewish culture and um, just done a tremendous job of, 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 of remaining authentic and uh, and, and you know, committed to their faith and identity, and yet playing a very, very important role in French society, and getting past a lot of roadblocks to do so. So I, I really, you know, one of the reasons I liked living in France is I, I could relate so well to that community. It felt real to me. Hmm. And Pittsburgh is, you know, Pittsburgh is is also Jewish American, <laughs> um, but. There's a lot of good to be said about it, um, and I've developed some friendships here. Um, but I think the roots, a lot of the times in America, I think American Jews tend to be pretty insular, and I don't think their roots are always very deep. I don't think they always have, you know, a very complete sense of who they are, why they're here, the history of their people. You know, it's more like, you know, I was born Jewish, so, so I vote for so-and-so. And that's another reason, you know, I, I wrote this book. And we'll write others. You, you mentioned you don't care for the culture of Los Angeles and Beverly Hills in particular. What is the culture of Beverly Hills and Los Angeles that you don't care for? Yeah, that's not nice of me. And I do have friends there still. Um I really do think that there's, at least when I was growing up, and there, the people I knew placed so much importance on what car you drive and whether you live north of Sunset Boulevard or south or north of Wilshire or south of Wilshire, you know, <laughs> um, status symbols, money. Um, now, maybe in your world, Luke, you've managed to kind of create a niche for yourself where you're isolated from that. But growing yeah, up, you know, yeah. as a son of a physician in Beverly Hills, I didn't find that niche. Go ahead. Um, you, uh, yeah, I'm just curious for, for your reactions. I, you know, I don't have an agenda either way. <laughs> I live in Pico Robertson. I live, I guess, a mile out of Beverly Hills, but I'm not mm -hmm. a, you know, I don't carry the flag for Beverly Hills or Los Angeles. Uh, I mean, I, yeah. I carry the flag for Judaism, but mm -hmm. even then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it's so much easier just to sit back and ask questions. <laughs> well, no, Pico Robertson is is a is you know is a kind of a, a different thing. At least there are people, a lot of people in that area who are searching for authenticity. Yeah, and some are yeah, you know, some are finding. And what was it like being Jewish at boarding school for for high school you went to in Santa Barbara? It was, a, it was an Episcopalian high school, and we had to go to chapel three times a week. And uh, it was very uncomfortable. I mean, not in terms of faith so much, because I, at that point in my life, faith didn't mean much to me at all. Um, but uh, definitely in terms of, you know, not being in the club. Have you ever experienced anti-Semitism? Oh, what an interesting question. Um... You know, Luke, I would distinguish between two kinds of anti-Semitism. One is Jewish anti-Semitism, you know, Jewish self-hatred, Jewish um, effort to uh, vigorously assimilate to a culture that's perceived as anti-Semitic. Um, and the other is non-Jewish anti-Semitism. I have definitely experienced the former more than the latter. Yeah. <laughs> Jewish self hatred more than Gentile Jewish hatred. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what about in in France? Is that a, an easy or a difficult place to be Jewish? 
Well, that's the wonderful thing, as I say, about the Sephardic community in France, because the um, Sephardic community that dwelled in the Arab world didn't develop that attitude as far as I can tell. I mean, maybe some of the ones who penetrated the upper echelons of society and became advisors of, you know, sultans or something. And maybe, I don't know those people. Um, and those people, a lot of them eventually converted or, or somehow stayed in the Arab world. Um, but since the Jews in the Arab world were, remained pretty isolated um, culturally, uh, they never really had to make that effort to assimilate by learning to um, kind of deny their, their pride in their identity. So it's very refreshing. And, I mean, and, the, the Ashkenazic yeah. community in France, there's a lot of, there's a lot, at least when I was living there, there was a lot of um, the same kinds of attitudes that you find here in America. You know, you know we, we, we go to our reform shul, but we... Uh, and there's only one Rue Copernic in Paris. Maybe there are more now, but at that time. I mean, we go there, uh, but, um, you know, we don't make overt mention of, of our identity in polite society. And the, and the non-Jews in France, like, I, I remember Britain, I was in Britain three years ago, and I remember it's a very different feeling being Jewish there than being Jewish in Beverly Hills. Like, it seems yeah, like you're Bob right about Bob. that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's true. I mean, at least in Beverly Hills, you know, you're around a lot of Jews, and it's not such an issue. In France, I became very acutely conscious of having this separate identity. And um, it's part of, you know, living in France for seven years kind of <clears throat> um, helped me along in terms of starting to have to come to terms with my identity. You know, it's like what Sartre said, you know, he is Jewish whom, uh, whom others define as Jewish or as a Jew. And that's kind of what I started to feel in France. I didn't have to bother defining myself as a Jew because everybody else was busy doing it for me. And since France is a Catholic country, just as much as Israel is a Jewish country, I mean, that's a whole other subject <laughs> that we could discuss at length sometime. But, um, that's a Catholic country, and everyone everyone wants to know, you know, uh, what your appartenance is, what your identity is, what group you belong to. So, yes. And once they know, is that easier for them, once they can define you? Well, you know, what I found in France, among educated, most of the people I knew in France were educated, and I found... Uh, one, on the one hand, tremendous respect for the Jews. I mean, I felt that in France, the French educated class um, is very much aware of the Jewish contribution to history and, and culture and um, you know, technology. Um, on the other hand, there's very much a feeling that uh, you know, the top echelon of French society, Jews can be visitors, they can participate, they can certainly participate financially in, in other ways, but, but they can never be members. It's kind of, it was a, the feeling I had, and remember, I was, you know, I was living with some of the, you know, these people who were um, at the very highest echelon. Um, the feeling I had was kind of the feeling that must have, I felt like I was in America in, in you know, the 30s or something, where, you know, the uh, Protestant establishment they might have Jewish friends, and they might have Jewish advisors, but you know the Jews were there um, as guests. Yeah, very much. That thing. As far as the the the, uh, the rest of French society goes, um, I don't know. I mean, if you're asking me, is there a lot of anti-Semitism in France? I'll tell you where I perceived it. That way that I just told you. But it's a little bit subtle, but it's pretty, it's, it's actually palpable. But the other way that it's extreme at the time was in the French media, and especially their constant, just constant, uh, you know, very, very biased reporting on the Middle East. Did you feel like you were thrust into the role of Israel's ambassador when you were in in uh, France, did people relate to you as a representative of the Jewish state? 
Well, you know, one of the terms they use for 